Hey, I got to play a couple of things from wrap up show last week and wrap up show yesterday. There was a whole bunch of things, but here's something that came up that I thought would be interesting about Fred. This is with regard to Fred not going to Will's wedding. Did you hear this, Fred? No, I didn't. But All right, I listen heard, to this. I've heard something about it. Well, well, you should have gave him a gift at least. No. I should give him a gift. Why not? I wasn't invited. He's I, a co worker. No, if you're, him a gift. if you're invited and you don't go, you give him a gift. I didn't really But if, I you, were, if, you, were a real, if you were a real gentleman, you work with the guy every day, you would have gave him a gift. Wait, what did anyway. you say? If you're invited and you don't go, you get a gift. Oh, really? That's interesting. So yeah. you should have invited him because that... he wouldn't have came. Is that right? Fit that bill. Were the people that were invited didn't come and didn't send a gift? Yeah. Because that's generally the rule of thumb. If you don't go, you send a gift. Right. Oh, wait. <laughs> no, I said I said I gave Will a gift. You did? Yeah, he gave me a gift. Oh, okay. That's not who I was referring to. <laughs> who were you referring to? Uh, a quiet guy in the studio. The quiet guy, Fred. Uh, Fred? No <laughs> comment. Whoa! <laughs> it's on his list. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fiscal year 08. Fred didn't get you a gift. You should see the look on John's face. John loves it. <laughs> Can't wait to pull this for Monday. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's on his list. Is that right, Fred? You didn't uh, send Will a... a uh, but it is coming, and I'm not trying no. to stiff you, Will. Sorry. If you'd like, I'll give you part of your gift now, and I'll go out to the ATM and get you a rest of it later. Because <laughs> I was actually going to go to my account and get two checks this week. One was for Will, and one was for Jason. Well, were, did he embarrass you into it? No, or, absolutely Because I'm not. feeling like no. you're getting railroaded Dude, here. Dude, no. Really? This, is, this has been on my mind. Oh, okay. A real gentleman would not have said anything and would have waited... But, you know, I understand. Yeah, you have we'll, a we'll, year after the wedding. Exactly. There is a grace there. period. There is a protocol. But some people don't know that. Are you upset with Will now on some level? It sounds like you're a little angry. No. No. I, I, I look at him for what he is. and uh, <laughs> What is he? <laughs> kind of a douchebag. <laughs> Joe Will's a douchebag? Yeah, I do. Does the douchebag yeah. get his Because there is, there, is, there is a protocol, and you're allowed a certain amount of time before you have to fess up with a gift. But so that's okay, I, Will. I'm think- still going to be a gentleman. I'm still going to give you your gift. You don't have to get me a gift. Oh, I am. It's all right. Fred, no, do I know you, you think forgot. that people are now thinking that the only reason you're getting Will a gift is Absolutely because he not. embarrassed you on the air? No. Yeah. No. I feel like I guilted him into it. No. Right. It's all right, all. though. Don't worry about it. Not at all. Did you feel he no. was a douchebag before this incident, or is this... No, he's had moments of douchebaggery. Yeah. But uh, well, no. Do, you, do any come to mind, or you can't call No, no, no. None. Okay. But uh, no. Will, right. Will's just a young dude, and he's... Don't worry about find it. It's fine. It's a long time. It's fine. No, that's all right. That's I know you forgot. So what would you like no, to see? Forget. What kind of money do you think it was appropriate for someone who didn't come to the wedding? Well, I mean, now that he forgot about it and he's kind of back. Oh, I didn't forget about it. Yes, you did. You're you lying. Did. I did not forget. I think you're lying when you say you didn't forget. That's that's a very very uh, tall uh, thing to say. I think I think Fred, you might have forgotten. He forgot. No, I didn't. I mean, please really? give me a break. Nope. If Fred says he didn't, then he didn't. Dude, I don't lie about that shit. <laughs> well, Fred, can you knock off the profanity? Seriously. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very unprofessional. I have to listen to okay. the uh, emailer. Thank you. But, Thank all right. You. Well, there is a gift coming. What are you going to send them? Do you have any yeah, idea seriously. yet? Yeah, I do. I'm not going to tell you. Go, well, fuck you yourself. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Oh, he just... Fred, can you say that? stop Five. the profanity? Five. Yeah, seriously. Five. I was going to give... I was going to give... Actually, I should make it four ninety nine for him and five oh one for Jason. That's fine. That right. seems fair. So, so four five hundred. Or I should actually deduct a hundred dollars. Just wait three just months j- before you give Jason. I should. Gift. I should deduct a hundred dollars <laughs> for him you know, being a dish. Give a it a little bag. time. Why is Jason getting his gift right away? Right. Because it was mostly both around the same time. Okay, that's it. All right. Fred says uh, he was getting you a gift anyway, but. Sorry, I didn't do it on your timetable, dude. Oh, what, what's that? Like the first month or two of the wedding? No, uh, according Usually to according Fred. to all, I mean, according to Robin Fred. and the, what I've known, you have a year oh, up until a year to on. give a, a year? gift. You do. Come on, Fred. You do, Fred. You should. You should. I wasn't going to wait that long, but I was going to do it around this time. Artie, what do you think? Oh, you don't want to get involved. All right, okay. <laughs> Artie's Artie easy, and he's very happy not to be in this. Artie's time. Busy. I, uh, he you looks over me. I think you can say whatever you want. That's that's what that's the truth. I just think. In the mod- in modern times, most marriages don't last a year. <laughs> right. Are you saying that Will is probably going to end up being divorced? I don't think he will be, but I'm saying, you know. Although I was handed a note, Fred, that you never got Scott to pay a wedding gift. I didn't? No. So <laughs> this- oh, you forgot about that one. I was just that one I did forget Howard. about. What? Can you hear me? Yes. I was handed a note that uh, neither did you. Was I invited? Yes. I don't even Did remember I get it. Scott to pay wasn't he, wasn't he married when when he started working here? I thought so too. No, no, he I vividly not. remember the wedding was in Boston. Oh, um, geez, and I didn't most know. of us didn't go. You know what? I apologize. Scott, I apologize for that. Me too. I don't but recall. Did I get him a gift? I don't recall. I ain't getting you a gift now. It's too late. You're too late, you're way though. I, don't want it. I, it was, I always send a gift. 
Unless it's somebody I really I know is hunting and fishing. You know what? I'm going to take some of the money I was going to give to Will. I'm going to give it to him. (laughs) (laughs) You're getting getting a deduction for being rude. All I want is an apology. I I have no. (laughs) But are you serious? You gave the pace an apology. You forgot about his. Oh, because it's clearly the same. But no, it's not. (laughs) Well. Well, I guess I'm not getting an apology then. No, you're not. I mean, that's a little <laughs> you're not. ridiculous, don't you think? No. Okay. You can keep your gift. I just wanted the apology. No. That you forgot. Just admit that you forgot. Did not Did not forget. All right. Well, All right. I guess I'm not getting what I wanted for my wedding. All right, young Will. Thank you. <laughs> I think Fred's covering up, but I don't, I don't know. But all right, listen, Fred, I'll take I mean, it. I'll believe you. It could be that he was waiting Telling for both weddings to be That's done. That's exactly it. To give out the uh, right. gift. I got another note. Fred was invited to Doug Goodstein's wedding and he didn't get him a gift. So, you know, it's, well, I, Doug, I believe, it's, it's too late now, dude. I believe Fred might have Fred forget, might forget, forget no, some, I did not. some weddings. I did not. No, I, was, I, will, I will honor this year's weddings. Anybody that's passed that, forget it. I'm like, how old is, how long has Doug been married now? Like, I think he has a, like a 14 year old daughter now. Eight and a half years. I'm not looking for a gift. Thank they you. They were just looking for facts. The there facts you are you've done this in the past. I, I may have stiffed some people, but I was not going to stiff Will and Jason. All right, there you go. The Pace have been married a long time, too. I yeah. swear, you sh- did he get married when he was with us? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was 11 years ago. Well, no Fuck. one had any money back then. We were working in a whole different place. Exactly. <laughs> it was every man for himself. Well, yeah. do you think he struck a chord there with Fred? It seemed he got awfully defensive. Yes, he did. He got very defensive. Now, Fred, Some fuck. <laughs> so you, you're sticking to your story. Yeah, man. That asshole forgot. Because he's kind of the guy on the show who, who you know, he upholds some honesty. He tells things. He, he seems to be the, the least corrupt out of everyone in there. Yeah. But you're not buying it. I'm not buying it. How come? Because of the time that passed in between? Yeah, man, you know, like, listen, I'll give him, like, a couple weeks, but two months, and then he claims he remembers, like, that's the fucking first thing on his mind is my shitty wedding. I don't buy it. I'm not fishing for any gift here. I think it was just funny that he forgot after he promised that he would. Now that he's said on the air he's going to give you slightly less than Jason, does that just piss you off even more? No, Jason deserves more. He needs more. He needs more money for food. Okay, a lot of negative stuff about Fred not giving Will a gift, and then a lot of negative stuff about Will and his attitude about receiving a gift, and, you know, that went on and on and on. Was that like a 50-50 split? Yeah, and it was even a topic on the wrap-up show. Those guys got into it again. (laughs) Uh, Here's a little bit of that. I don't know why you want to still give a gift when you're fighting with him. I know. know. You know what? I really wrestled with that. But you know something? I made a promise, and I honor my promises. Uh, What is it, Will? I was just going to say, Fred doesn't have to worry about it. I'm not going to cash a check. Because oh, he was no. just giving it to me like, Dude. I'm, I'm basically, I'm a whore, and I'm, no. an, I'm an asshole, Wait. so you know Wait what? Wait a minute. Don't worry about it. No. Wait I know a minute. You, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute. Don't Number one, don't put words in my no. mouth. Yes. And, well, no. What did you say when you came in the office? You threw the card at me, and then you said, yeah, I'm not looking for publicity, unlike some people, basically. Is what no, the, I just didn't. I never said so that. So don't worry about I, it. No, it's no. fine. Wait, I'm, not, wait. I'm not a whore. I'm not going to be a fucking Will. whore to anybody. Howard, don't worry about Howard, it. I'm Thank telling you, you that's not, how, that is not how it went this down at all. Ugly. This is getting ugly. I came in. I came in just... Can I Can I just speak for a minute before... Because you're attacking me pretty good here, and I don't understand the attack. Oh, yeah, it's com- completely out of left field. <laughs> I Okay. Anyways, I come in, I hand a note, you know, Jason's giggling, I'm in a hurry, I give him the thing, I go up to Will, I hand him that, Jason says, am I correct on this? Yes. Let me get my camera to mark this event. I says, no, dude, I'm not looking for publicity. Oh. Which I and took I d- from it. And I do. You are. That's why you brought it up in the air. No. Because no, no, you no, want to shake me down. No, Because you want to shake me down for your money. So not. And you're a whore. No, I, I don't you're, care. you're misreading I, it. He's I saying, never said I don't anything. Want his no, dude. I, don't want I never post. said anything okay, of the sort. But then everything sword. that was said yesterday, on top of it, look. When I, never I brought said, that up in the air. It was just busting balls, and it was dude, supposed to be. I never said and anything of the to be, sword. I thought he was really going to say, "Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. My bad. Whatever." But I didn't forget. Will he says he didn't. He says he was so going to write you a check. But don't worry about it. Keep your money. Thank you. Here we go. Howard, that's not nice. I don't think that's nice. I don't. I really don't. I mean, I'm consulting. You know, it's insulting. Well, you better cash that. Be check. gracious. Take Fred's you know what? gift. He, here's the deal. If he doesn't oh, want to cash every it, every listener out there, you're a fucking whore. You're you're a douchebag for taking Fred's I didn't money, s- trying to shake him down. Who, I don't care. What? I, re- I really don't need your money that bad. Yes, I never do. said no, that. No, I don't. Number <laughs> one. No, no, no wait, 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 wait. Like, can, can I say, can I say one thing before <laughs> you make this decision? Because you're basing this strictly on your ego 
and and your feelings right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. That I don't want to be looked at as like a guy Dude, that's just greedy number and one, trying to take people's I'm money. Not, no. I'm not saying that. I don't want that. to be that guy. Number one, I'm not saying it. That's number one. Number two, before you refuse it, because I had a feeling you were gonna you were gonna like be a hothead about this. Yeah. <laughs> I really did. Call your wife and ask her if you can afford to turn down that money. She can have her half. I mean, I guess it's fifty fifty, but But here's half- the deal. You ask her. Now you're not being fair to her. You're making this decision uh, Fred, on your you're own. Out of line. Why I don't am? you give all of it to no, your wife? No, because this this is no. a shared Fred, gift. You, Fred, what? You you were doing better before. Okay. Because well, I'm trying to like you know I, you know what here's Fred the deal. Said you got to take I, it. I, face I feel value. I feel bad that he was offended. I really do. Right. I hear you. Fred, I feel bad that he was offended. You to get a gift. Right. I'm not calling him a whore. I thought going on the wrap-up show to do this, and not only that, I never got the opportunity to give a gift uh, in a way that was enjoyable for me. It turned into, like, this really ugly, shitty thing. I thought I was going to, you know, okay, I'm going to get the both checks at once, hand it to Will, hand it to Jason, boom, done. Everybody's happy. Uh, apparently not everybody's happy, and I'm that I'm really sorry about. I mean, right, well, when, it, when it comes down to this, not? are you going to take the gift? Or it's crazy. Know. I guess Fred and I will sort it out after the show. All right, whatever. thank you. All right, thank it's you. getting a little boring anyway. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't trying to. Att- I'm, dude, a lot of people in the email said that Fred was uh, a douchebag. <laughs> Uh, that uh, he really wasn't going to get Will a gift, and then and, that's, forget, and he let it slip. And then other people did say that Will. I don't get where anybody could even come up with that conclusion. Uh, I really don't. Well, there you go. Sure. Here, here's the Fred stuff. Fred is a cheap bastard. Mm-hmm. Who the hell waits a year to give a wedding gift? And why would you make someone <laughs> that's at work? Let me let me just say one thing to that before I don't want to interrupt. But it was it is a year, but I wasn't going to take the year. It was going to be this week. That's number one. Number two, I have given Will and Jason gifts in the past. This one says Fred is full of shit. He definitely forgot Will's present, or maybe conveniently forgot. I don't know how that was even an issue. Well, Again, that's Will's supposition, people. and that's this emailer's supposition. I never forgot. I intended to do it, and I intended to make good on it. But in Fred's defense, Will is unbelievably rude. Even if Fred never sent the gift, Will should not have mentioned it. According to Emily Post, the old rule of one year is outmoded. Outmoded? Isn't that outdated? And you should send a gift within three months of the wedding. Oh, is that true? I didn't know that it had changed. Now, I yeah. checked a lot of the other websites. They said a year. Will is a presumptuous asshole and a spoiled brat. I understand that it has become proper etiquette to give a gift, even though one is unable to attend another wedding. But, geez, you know, this is crap. So there you go. Um, what can I tell you? It was very evenly split in the email between Fred and Will defenders. What happened on the wrap-up show yesterday? Uh, they went at it. Here you go. So if it had slipped your mind, you would have cop to it. Dude, if I don't lie about things like that. And that's something that Will doesn't really understand is that I don't lie. I don't say you think you lied. No, but you you it would be implying that I'm lying. Well, what? That it, when I said that it slipped your mind? No, it didn't no, it did not slip my mind and my intent was to See, look at him. He's got this I've got you. I've got that I got he's, he's got that Bill O'Reilly <laughs> face on like I've got you. You're stepping right into my trap. <laughs> There's no trap. But you- dude, I'm telling you the truth. It was on my mind, and I was going to do it, and that's it. You were waiting for the full year? No. I, this is stupid. I, it makes no, me sound like gonna, a douchebag now. I you, was just busting you your balls. Are, you're, being, you're being silly. I think you forgot. No, I did not. But if you did, I, all I can do is take you at your word. Look, I'm sorry if it hurt your feelings. It did hurt my feelings. It must have. Why? Because you're the one that brings it up. You're the one that's bringing it up. And I'm sorry if it really well, hurt your feelings. Well, I brought it up because, like I said, in the context I mean, of the show, any, if there's it was anyth- funny. If I hurt this your show feelings, is about busting people's balls. Dude, if I hurt your feelings, I'm sorry. But I did not. It did not slip. Oh, my you mind. got the apology. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> I think bringing the apology. <laughs> so the gift thing has just caused a lot of problems. Yeah. I, I, you know what? Here, here's the deal. Anybody don't to, in the future, which I don't think is going to happen. Nobody invite me to a wedding, and I'm not giving you any gifts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any more of this shit. <laughs> Too much I, pressure for I, you. You know what? I think I've actually been pretty good about gift giving on this show to people, and uh, I, I don't appreciate being like called a swindler. Well, you're you're a controversial figure, Fred. <laughs> Whenever you open your mouth, it leads to trouble. Well, yo, dude, why are you getting so mad about this? Because I don't want to be made to look like a fucking asshole. Like I'm after people's money. Like I'm trying to shake down the fucking people that are in the studio. I do not want to be considered that person. That is one thing that I will not be. Is a douchebag that like trying to shake down people that are on the show for money. I'm not going to be that guy. And Whatever. You, 
do you feel like he kind of threw it in your face? Yeah, well, I mean, of course like, that was it. And then he sends out 8,000 emails like, oh, you're an asshole. This guy's just trying to shake, you know, he's a douchebag. He just wants your money. You know, how rude a will to bring it up. Look, this show's about busting fucking balls. I brought it up on the goddamn air. I probably guess I shouldn't have. That was stupid of me to do. I don't know what my wedding has to do with Jason's wedding. I have to be given at the same exact time. But you know what? Now it's like completely blown out of proportion. I probably fucking blew up a little more than I should have, but it's fine. You can keep his money. It's not a big deal to me. You think you're going to be able to work it out with him? Yeah. I mean, whatever. Like I said, I won't cash a check and it's fine. So, Fred, were you surprised when Will rejected your gift? Uh, I wasn't surprised. I was, uh, you know what? Uh, I was kind of actually kind of concerned about that. You know, it's like one of those things where I know uh, yesterday he wasn't believing that uh, I really wanted to give him a gift, and maybe even today he thought I really didn't want to give him a gift, but I really did. I, you know, uh, I said I was going to do it. Uh, I may have not done it in the most timely of fashions, but uh, had every intent. It was in my heart to give him a gift. And as it turns out, I think, you'd have to ask Will himself, I think he might be accepting it, which actually makes me very happy. Now, he said that you made a comment when you gave it to him, something about, like, you're not looking for airtime. You, you weren't looking to, like, publicize this. Yeah. I, Do you think he overlooked that? I mean, did he, like, blow it out of abortion? You know what? I, I think, and again, you know, it's like, you know, when you're in the moment of stuff, I think sometimes you imagine certain things either being done or being said. I'm sure he was a little uptight. Uh, can't say I was the most relaxed this morning either because, you know, in light of what happened yesterday and also rushing in to get on the air, et cetera, et cetera. But I wanted to make sure that uh, that Jason got his gift and that Will got his gift. And uh, basically that was it. The comment was, and I hate to reenact stuff because it's, it's like, okay, now let's do this again. Uh, Jason was saying something, let me get the camera, like he wanted to like document it, like we were like signing the, the end of World War II and the battleship Missouri. And uh, it wasn't that kind of thing. It was just like, you know, dude, here's your thing, here's your thing. I just want to, you know, that's it. I just want to, you know, mm. do it and be done with it. You know, no fanfare. I mean, it was never intended to have fanfare in the first place. So you think you guys are going to be okay now? I'm okay with Will. As long as he's okay with me, the world is right. Great. Thanks, Fred. You got it. Tim just came in. There was some big announcement from Sirius XM. Announces extraordinary new channel lineup. What's that? I think they, you know, in an effort to make sense out of the company, they... Combined the best of Sirius and XM, and now you, you know, all the, you know, we had, like, we had two rock channels, or, you know, so they would comp take one channel rather than have the two. They had one on XM and one on Sirius, so people at XM can get some of the good programming on Sirius, and Sirius, you know, I don't know. Why don't you just tell me what the lineup is? I don't I, know what you're talking I don't about. know either. I'm very, <laughs> it's a seven-page press release, and I don't know what any of it means. And Tim seems hell-bent on getting me to talk about how great it is. But I don't understand it. Are you telling me you can now buy a different package? No. It's, in know. other words, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There's some good new shit here. It's, it's supposedly very good. All no, right. what it is is, like Bruce Springsteen's E Street Radio. Can now be heard on XM? Right. And, for example, now you can hear Bob Dylan I've always wanted to hear this Bob Dylan radio hour. Which XM was had on it, XM. And it used to really piss me off. What are you saying? XM? XM. XM. No, X. Say XM. XM. Why I'm are you tired saying? today. What X. are you doing? I'm tired. XM. Sound XM. like Gary. XM. How about, Gary goes, <laughs> that's Reese's peanut butter cups. Reese's. Reese's. You didn't hear me? Yeah, it's Reese's. Reese's. But the guys here told me it was Reese's. I thought it was some weird way that they pronounced it for a product. I know it's Reese's. No, you don't. You oh, always say Reese's. You even said that when we had E.T. in that movie. And no, I you, did. It's Reese's. You've always said Reese's. You're a liar. <laughs> I'm not. You're a liar. I dare you to produce the tape of me saying Reese's. I will. You yeah. always say Reese's. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. 100 bucks you're 100 on. 100 bucks. I've heard him say Reese's a million times. Okay, let's, make it, let's make it 500 bucks. I've heard you say it even in your personal life, I Reese's. I don't say it's Reese's. I, listen, it's my favorite candy. You think I don't know how to say it? Well, you loved Baba Booey. No, Bowie. you don't. <laughs> yeah, you, your favorite cartoon was Baba Louie, and you said Baba Booey, and your favorite candy is Reese's, and you said Reese's. 
A, I think he's thinking Reese's monkey. Um, the Reese's? Reese's uh, monkey. Somebody out there at the back, JD yelled that he says it's Reese's. So I thought maybe because they have some marketing thing or some licensing thing, they had to call it a different name. Dude, everyone in here was laughing at you, even <laughs> JD, because he never heard of Reese's either. You laugh all you want. I dare, 500 bucks produce a tape of me ever saying it differently. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go searching through our archives because <laughs> I need the 500 bucks why, why from you. you. Why would you actually want to be proven wrong? Yeah, wh- why would Baba Louie be Baba Booey? One is one, and one is the other. No, friend. one and one is two. <laughs> and I'm well, telling you twice, you're, I you're dopey. Out, I want to point something out while I have the chance. All those... Uh, Reese's, both. All those Klondikes that are in my freezer were not put in there by me. I have not eaten them. Reese's, both. <laughs> fuck off. I want Reese's. Baba Louie's. Play him saying Reese's. You had me Reese's. Play that again. You had me Reese's. <laughs> All I was doing you was had the Reese's. All I was doing was repeating what somebody in the office yeah, okay. said. Well, why don't you it. repeat any idiotic thing no, anyone but, says? But, but, dude, I would fess up to that. I well you know your there. breath smells like feces. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck you. Reese's. Remember, uh, remember <laughs> both you little Reese's Klondike ball. Remember Secretary of State uh, Edwin Meese's? <laughs> <laughs> Reese's both. Robin started with eggs. I said I said and he gets pummeled. Yeah, it's a weird show. Reese's peasies. Reese's peasies both. <laughs> Look at uh, Sal's got the Baba Booey mask on and he's holding his Reese's PC's Klondike bar. <laughs> and scratching his head. He's scratching his head, scratching his head. he can't figure it out. The Baba Reese's. Booey mask still has a mustache. <laughs> The smoke coming out of the mask. <laughs> Reezy's Beezy's bull. Uh, yes, Ralph. You know what it is? Gary loves to talk so much, he doesn't, like, think before he talks. He just blurts stuff out, like, you know, like McKine, you know? Right. Reezy's. I never said McKine. Wait a second. Anybody could have done that. McKine. <laughs> McKine. <laughs> Ralph, you don't know you don't know me. Yes, I Where'd do. Ralph go? He's, He's there. I know you. I love you. No, Aww. but again, Lisa G. I just yelled at Lisa G. She comes in my office. She goes, "What happened was you you combined Reese's and Pieces." I uh, go, "That's not what fucking happened." No, you've said what, Reese's before. I have not, you've said it to me in private. Absolutely positive. Honestly, How would you just? Gar, I'm t- I swear you're, to God, you're wrong. I've heard you say Reese's. You're, you're looking for an angle on something, but I'm it's not. not there. I've never Gary, said it. I've heard you say I, Reese's. Howard, swear in the life of my kids, and I know you okay. can't prove it because it just never happened. It's okay. really my favorite. I, I'm kid. telling you, I've heard you're, you're, you. You know, you just make you don't shit say up Reese's. because it, you sometimes just, no. you say Reese's. You just make shit up because it helps move the bit along. I got tape. You saying you don't. You have that tape. Because somebody, in fact, I'm almost so sure. Why was, would, so if you know how to say it, enough, why would you say Because I thought that maybe they called it a different, you know what I mean? In other words, it's one of those goofy names that Klondike made up, like yeah, Reese's okay. or something. All right. Uh, okay, I see. But, but I have an A. I'm telling no, you. I've heard you say it before. You're, you're, that's a lie. No. You really haven't. I really haven't. No, the, the funny thing is you really haven't. You can haven't give me a lie heard, detector. I've heard you say you it. You really <laughs> haven't heard me say it before, but now you can't turn back because you'd look foolish. No. I, I, I will really, turn. I will apologize to you if I'm wrong, but, but I'm not. You really haven't. I've heard you say Reese's. You have not. You've said it a million times. No, no, I have not. In fact, we did a show once where we put Reese's pieces on the floor. I remember some mm-hmm. girls had to pick them up, and I remember you saying to me, "Both Reese's pieces." First of all, I don't remember that show. Yeah, I do. And and it's just not, it's just not. Listen, right. I don't but mind. You, re- you have selective memory. But you have selective memory. I don't, listen, right. well, I, I guess I'm wrong. I fess okay. up to every dumbass thing I'm that wrong. there is. Reese's, Baba Booey. No, no, I'm telling you. What's the, your favorite cartoon character? McKine. Fuck off. That, McKine was a bitch. What was, was, your, a, favorite, was, a okay, what was that, your favorite uh, cartoon character? Uh, Bugs Bunny. No, we know it's Baba Louie. 
Baba Booey. And you swore. Okay, uh, there's no I, doubt. You, you call him Baba Booey. There's, no, there's, there's no doubt that that Baba was mispronounced. Bowie. And your favorite thing. candy is Reese's, and you thought it was Reese's. I know it's not Reese's. It's just a retarded <laughs> no, conversation. No, it's okay. You're embarrassed. It, I'm I not embarrassed. All right, let's forget the whole thing. I really you know not what? He said, earlier I heard him say Pee Wee Reese when we were talking about the Jack and Robinson. Pee Wee Reese. <laughs> he got <laughs> Pee Wee Reese right. It's okay. It's just, you know, listen. All right, forget it. Why fuck with your bit? Right. All right. Okay, thanks, Gare. They're yeah, good. All right, you can leave now. Oh, hang on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, def- I love Defiant Bowie. <laughs> I would like everyone to produce the tapes of me saying Reese's. That's a, the new contest. $5,000. We should do a $5,000 contest for someone who can produce, produce the tape. Were you the one who yelled it out to me? The yell what? What the name of the, um, the Klondike bar was? Maybe. Yeah. I was I, on the air last week. I said Reese's, uh, Reese's Cups or something. Somebody like yelled it out to me. And I just, I, again, people are throwing information. I just repeated it. I thought that maybe it was like a play on words that they know, were doing. It, it could have been, I don't know. Nice going, J.D. <laughs> I think you yelled that. <laughs> you did? No.